Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix NordVPN no internet after connecting into it. So first of all, this happens a lot when you try to connect to a certain server. So here, as you can see, I'm connected to France and likely I have a really good connection. But for example, sometimes when I try to connect into WhatsApp or something like that, as you can see, it is very laggy and sometimes it would not load at all. So how can we fix that? First of all, when you try to connect to a VPN, you need to understand that the way you are away from your area the more the internet connection will be lost and the more the lag will be on your pc or basically on the internet so for example i am here living in morocco so what's gonna happen if i connect it to a server in france is basically i'm going to lose few pings of few fps which leads to this whatsapp is still not opening so how can i fix that well simply i could choose from france something that is less far for example here there is paris i would go for marseille or andorra for example i don't think andorra is in france so we could go to marseille here we go as you can see and maybe maybe this could help us to actually get a better ping so once i try to load into web whatsapp once again maybe it will work but not always now you could simply just try to shut down the internet and try to go to whatever thing you want to do in the browser and then simply relaunch the server as uh, like from the beginning for example i'm gonna do this close disconnect and now i'm gonna just refresh whatsapp and now normally it should work once it works you should simply go ahead and connect to the new server but this is not as efficient because the more like you connect to a far server the more it will be laggy and this can cause a lot of problems because a lot of people are using vpn to actually watch movies on netflix etc so losing internet and having a slow internet is gonna be making your watch experience watching experience very bad so to make it better simply all i recommend you to do is to go ahead and connect to your normal server which is basically disconnect from vpn do whatever you want for example go to netflix download the film uh, like search for the film as fresh and then change the vpn back to your original original server and download the film yeah so this is what you can do and yeah guys that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next video